Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and today we're going to paint a sweet, romantic, wintery, wintery? Winter uh, landscape painting. Very easy. I'm just showing you how I do this. I'm just moving paint around, dry brush technique, wet on wet technique, using wet on dry, all that is all in one bag of tricks here. I'm telling you it's easy. It's easy. I don't need a trace. You don't need a traceable. You can just make these wiggle lines and then just flush in some snow and this pretty color. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And also if you're a Patreon member, every week on Thursday, I have exclusive tutorials for the mid tier and up and I have traceables there. And so go check that out. There's a link in the description box. You might want to wait till January 1st to join um, because they charge each first of the month. And then whenever you join, they charge. So, so if, you are, if you joined in December, mid-December, they're going to charge you again for January 1st, kind of like they do it every first of the month. So I kind of put that disclaimer on the Patreon to let people know, but sometimes I don't know that. But you get all the tutorials from way back when or whatever when you join. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so go over, um, before we start, I'll go over supplies. I have a piece of Arches 100% cotton cold-pressed paper. Um, it is the green loose pad, which is cheaper than the bound pad. This is the color what it looks like. Um, I just tore it in half, so it's a six by nine inch piece. I just taped it down on this piece of cardboard with scotch tape. Um, I like to tape it down when I'm doing wet on wet because then it will curl and it's hard to work with. Um, I have my paints, I'll go with them as I use them. Everything's in the description box. Paper towel, water jars are up here. And I just kind of drew in loosely you know, I'm just going to do like a river here. So you're just going to make a winding river. You can make it just squiggle like this. Squiggle. Just squiggle on this side. If you can see this lightly, how I drew it. You can draw a little horizon line first. And then just draw a squiggle here. And a loose squiggle here. So this is more like a tutorial on painting as opposed to like drawing how it should look. It's a feeling. And I'm going to be doing... Um, some pretty blushy browns with some grays. We're going to change up the, um, the winter watercolor a little bit this time. So I'm going to start with my Princeton 12 uh, round Neptune brush. I like the Neptune series. I like the Velvet Touch series. And got this cabin yellow deep. It's a nice pretty yellow. Can add a little Quinacridone magenta, quinacridone magenta. Say that ten times fast, <laughs> and you'll have this nice, pretty blushy color. And we got this Van Dyke brown, really loose too. I'm gonna have them like kind of close together, loose. Can make us like romantic, kind of wintry scene. All right, got this blushy tones, yellowy blushy tones. And I do want to use some yellow too. So I'm just going to put some yellow on the side here. Cadmium yellow deep. So I'm just going to take the brush. I've got a lot of water on hand. I've got some loose paint. I'm going to grab some more pink. I really want it kind of blushy. Mm, a little yellow too. All right, so grab some blushy, kind of yellowy tones. And we're just going to swipe it a little bit here. So we just got this big old belly brush with a lot of water on it. I'm just kind of swiping it around like this. I'm going to swipe it back and forth. I want this romantic, pretty, blushy color. I put it all across. I'm not getting it so wet. I'm getting it, you know, wet on dry. So I'm just going across the whole thing. I might add a little more yellow out here. So like the sun's coming in. More yellow tones here. Bright sun. And then go back in and the blushy tones down here. Just like that. I want it really pretty. And if you feel like the sun should be really bright, you can take some of this, take a paper towel I just lift up the paint and the sun will be the bright white area. Just like that. So this is the bright part. And we're going to keep building on this. It's still kind of damp, but we're going to still keep building. I'm going to put some browns and grays. So I have that Van Dyke brown. I'm going to add a little uh, 
gray to it, maybe even a little black. I'm just going to kind of, and uh, my Prussian blue over here, I'm going to add some gray over here. I'm going to do some blues and grays. And we're just going to dab it just like this, very loosely. You can grab some of that even darker blushy brown color. I'm just tapping it in like this. Come on, that brown blushy color. This is no, it doesn't take a rocket science, I'm sorry, in, in a way to say that, but <laughs> just kind of pushing the paint around, see? And I'm tapping it back on the paper towel if I feel like it's too much paint. We're just gonna tap that paint around. And that brownish color, same thing here. Just getting this really nice, pretty brown, blushy color. Can add some more of that gray while you're at it. A little darker gray. I just want to change up the color tones from normal green and blues. I'm going to make them sweet, pretty blushy grays. And we'll add some more bluish grays over here. And that's kind of bleeding. We want that to dry a little bit more. Now we're gonna take our brush and with our yellow blushy grays again, blushy gray, yellowy color tones. We can start playing with the snow a little bit. Just kind of pushing it in. Here, take my brush, still fat, going like that across. We can add in a deeper blue gray. Blue brown. I had so much blue gray here. Just get a little darker. I just do that little line going across, and it will bleed up and down. And that's fine. Again, we're going to take the browns, blushy colors. I'm going to just kind of push them across like that. With the brush. And this bluish gray I have up here, I'm going to get really loose. I'm going to dab it in the paper towel. And I'm just going to go like this. Still want to keep some of that white for the snow. But getting in some of the The snow highlights. I really want this soft, romantic looking picture. See, I'm just pushing that paint around, leaving some white. I'll leave more hard, the hard edge white where the river's going to be. I'm just going like this. I'm going to add some of that deeper gray here. I can push some of that gray that we mixed over here. Add some more of this blushy tone. I'll put some of that out here. Blue gray blush. So I'm just pushing the paint around with this big old brush. Now I'm gonna do the um, the river. I want this like blue gray. I'm gonna take some of this paint up. Well, we're getting this starting to let some of this dry. So I've got this Prussian blue mixed with the little paints gray. I even put a little black in there. Let's see, I got this nice bluish gray color. Could even go a little bit darker. We're gonna do the water. Just putting it right in there, wet on dry. And when it's still damp, we're gonna go and add some other tones to it. You can leave like a little white mounds like snow is still on a rock or something inside there. I didn't have that in the sketch, but as I'm painting it, I think I might do that. See how I just left these little white mounds? I'm just going to throw this color in. This little zigzag river. Up 
in here where it starts. And then while it's still wet, we're going to start to add in some deeper tones. Get a little more fancy with our color choice. So I might get some really nice deep dark paints, gray, black, whatever. And so just tapping it on the edge where the snow meets the water. Same thing here. Just want deeper blues. Right in here. It's just going to intensify the snow under here. It got a little blurred here because it was wet. I'm just going to play around with that. I'm going to keep adding in some deeper tones. And I'm, I'm just making the brush strokes kind of go across. I want to kind of do that. I'm constantly mixing up some darker tones here. going to be the cold river. Deep cold river. And you know, of course, the darker next to the snow, the more intense the uh, snow will come out. So I'm adding some more dark, deep, intense paint color, which is less water. It's going to dry lighter. Just to let you know that. And see, I'm just going stroking it across. At this point, you can add even like the same browns and some more blacks. So I'm going to have some brown tones. Just to change up the variety of, you know, it wouldn't be the solid flat blue color. It's going to have some tonality to it. Get even darker on the bottom here. And then it's straight on black, actually. And I actually add gouache to the black watercolor. And you know, it just intensifies it even more. It's kind of how I roll. <laughs> so we get this nice, soft, peachy color background. We got the tense blue lake. We're going to start to play off that with the snow. And we left these little snow mounds in the water. We'll have to add a little bit of shadows to them, but we'll do that in a bit. So while that's, that lake is kind of drying, we're still going to play around with adding some more snow shadows here. I'm just tapping in that bluish gray, just him tapping it like that. I'm gonna wait till this oh, lid. Wait till this dries. We're gonna start planning here. Up here, we're gonna play with some more trees. So I've got that brown. I've got this blushy color here. Blushy blush and the brown and some brown gray. And we're gonna go back in and just kind of tap in the trees. like this. Tapping in where we know some trees would be. Taking the brush, I just took off some more paint so it gets a little bit lighter. Just making these little tap movements. And I'm going to be taking a smaller brush and I'm going to be adding in some branches and some tree trunks. Grab it. Blue gray. Playing around with that color. I can even take the tip of this and just swoop up and add like the shadow of trees that way. We're building up the trees in here. Just go back in and add some more of this gray here. So I'm just kind of tapping it on the side. Building up some more dark, darker tones here. Grab some of this blushy kind of color. It will dry lighter again, remember that. And I'm just taking it, I'm just kind of wishping, wishping, swooping, making these little simple marks. If it's still too dark, just take some of that paint off and just take some water. Kind of push it around. 
You see, I'm just kind of making these like shadows of trees. Again, I'm going to take off some more water. I mean, take off some more paint, grab some more water. Oop, I had yellow pigment. I mean, sorry, orange pigment on my brush. That's okay. I'll play around with that. Okay, add some more of that flush. And we're building up some of the trees. Pink tone. I just want this really pretty, um, romantic kind of look. We'll keep building it, keep building it. I'm going to add some more of this gray back here, a little bit darker. Let's see, I'm just trying to make this tap movement so it's like this little the foliage kind of brush, simple, loose. Then we get even darker with our ground, bluish gray color, and even darker still. Right on the edge of that. I'm just gonna add some like black gray. Just to get it really deep. Just push the line out like that while it's still damp. Get this really intense kind of and same thing down here, just taking it go like that across the horizon line. And again we can just keep adding in some more of this tonality. And then up here again, the blushy gonna make it look like I have foliage hanging here. Just tapping it. I'm gonna be adding some tree branches. We're just loosely tapping it like foliage. Go back in here, you can add some brown. You see I'm just tapping all these multicolors. Trying to keep this in the peachy blush vein. I don't want it to get really dark. I'm gonna clean up my brush. I'm gonna grab some of this blue gray. And we're gonna start to play around with the snow. Where that line of the snowbank is, that section will get a little darker, darker. I'll just put some dark bluish grays here. Oops. Combination of blue and black and gray. See, I'm just going to get a little bit darker on that crease. Let it bleed a little bit. And just keep adding more layers of that blue, keeping still some white. And we're going to do some dry brush techniques. So we take the paint off basically, just tapping on the paper towel. I'm just going to see, zoom in a little bit. So still some paint on this brush. I'm just going to go like that. And it gives this nice rustic kind of texture to it. Putting some down here. Just like that. Just a dry brush. Taking off the paper towel. And you get that pretty dry brush technique. Playing around with adding color, adding some more darker grays. That's how we do that. Oops. <laughs> and same thing over here. I'm just pushing the brush is like dry brush. There's not many much paint on it. It's very dry, and it creates these nice textures. It's minimal water. Get those really pretty textures. Do it on the snow here. Again, grabbing some grays, sticking it on the snow, dry brush technique. Grab some more of this brown, lush, pretty pinky brown. At this point, I want to try and put some trees in so I can see where I want it to go. So I'm going to grab my Princeton number four long round velvet touch series. I like it. it's really tiny. Got a good belly here. I got some of this Van Dyke brown. I might mix a little blue with that. 
and we're going to put some trees in. So it's minimal water, and we're just going to go swoop up and see how it bleeds. If it's being too much, then we need more paint, less water. Can I add some blue? Get that in the beaver towel. Yeah. We can do some crooked. It's still kind of damp here, so it's kind of bleeding too much. You might want to wait till it dries a little more. This one feels a little drier. So we can start to put some trees. Just really simple. Swoop. See how I just did that? Swoop, swoop. A dark one here. This wiggle, squiggle. There's like another one coming out of there. And you don't have to connect every single branch. You can kind of have some like, almost like the floating. If that makes any sense. Do some grasses. I would tend to make it more like that was a little black, but a little more yellow brown. So golden color. I wouldn't put too many in again. Put some grasses down by the water area. Because then it looks kind of goofy. Just like that, simple grasses. And this is still kind of drying out here. You want just simple little tree lines coming from this branch. It got a little blurry, but that's okay. Can make this a little thicker. My microphone fell down. Well, I hope I was talking to people and not by myself. <laughs> Make mistakes sometimes. Okay, so I'm still gonna grab, this is still damp. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna put some trees back this way. Just wisping up. Just with this paint's gray, kind of black tone. Just putting some trees back here. See, I'm just going to take my little thin brush, just make these movements of going out, up. Jaggedy. And put some more back in here. It's a little too damp still. Also, I want to add a little more, um, almost like foliage back here. So I'm going to take my blush tone again, water it down with some brown. And just kind of like put in some, almost like Flush foliage and leaves. A little gray there too. Mix in between. Come back in here again, adding some more of this color. Such a pretty, pretty color. Nothing ever, not all of the winter scenes have to be this blue gray. See, I'm just dry brushing in some of this tones. Tap, tap, tap. And grab some more brown. Get a little darker now. A little bit darker in some areas. Again, I'm going to grab some of that blush. Just 
kind of dry brush drawing this looks like foliage in here. So I got this pretty romantic looking and then I grab some more grays. It's kind of having that look, you know? Tap, 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 tap. You hear me? Tap, 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 tapping. Okay. Grab a little more of that brown color. You can even put some of that, just wash some of that color kind of down in here. So continuity. And down and over in here. But I'm going to grab some of this gray blue. Blue gray shadows obviously it's light from there you see the shadows going this way and playing around with some more of this blue and I'm gonna get a little darker right up in here again with the water just underneath where the snow is. I'm going to just flush in a little bit darker color. Just adding in some more. They kind of got washed out when we were, when it was drying. So I'll just go back in and play around adding in some more darker, dark, deeper tones in those areas underneath the snow. You can put some lines going this way, so it's like almost like ice shadows. Going in and adding some more black, gray. Again, just take some lines and go like that. Not too much. You don't overdo it. And again here. Crevice. I'm just going to add some deeper tones again. See, I'm like putting the paint down and then cleaning off my brush with water. Dap it in the paper towel and then I kind of push it around. Just like so. Okay, so now I'm going to go back. This is a little damp still. Um, and grab that deep gray color that I have. And make those little trees. If it's still bleeding, we're gonna have to wait till it dries. This part isn't. So we'll put some fun trees out here. And just making a little, taking the little brush and just making those little tree marks. Trees in the back of the woods. Could even put some more in the foreground, like in here. Oops, that's a little too dark. Let me just take some of that paint up. And it's not a problem. And go back over in here. And finish off the tree that we kind of started. My tree's kind of like blue, black, brown, <laughs> gray. I got some trees back here. Don't go crazy with the trees. You can go crazy with trees and tree branches and grass. The less is more, you know, kind of thing. And then we can go in and add some. I'm just gonna wipe off that paint. You see my little brush. Dark shadows on the snow. Not too much. Move it back here. And this is a good point when you can like stand up, step back. I'm looking at it and like, oh, it's kind of pretty. What's missing? This is kind of too blurry here. It's not defined. So the snow seems kind of very blurry. So you're going to have to go back in and 
put in a deeper tone here to make it more defined. It was kind of blurry because there was a gray tone in that snow. So I'm going in and adding a deeper color. And I'll step back and look again. Now you can really see that it's more defined. It's a little blurry over here too. Kind of goofy. And we do the same thing. I'll clean up my brush here and just push out that darker paint. So it doesn't seem like it was a mistake. And then here it gets a little blurry also. I've got this deep color and I don't have anything that's kind of kind of bizarre. So I'm gonna go in and grab some more of this paint and just kind of blend it outward like this. And then I can grab some of my dark, put some trees also in here. Little small ones. So it doesn't look weird. So it still has that dark blue kind of bulby thing. I'm going to go down here and fix that. And there you go. And then, okay, so I'll take off some of the paint again and I'll do this dry brush shadow right here on the snow. And just keep playing around that. Don't overdo it. That's pretty much it. Think about it. I think it looks pretty good. If you want when it's dry, you can add in a few. If you have some, I don't know if it's, it's not damp enough to make the streaks, but just grab a little bit of white gouache. If you have some white gouache. Just put a couple little streaks going across, a couple little lines. Not too many. And then you overdo it and it will look again too goofy. And that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm just finessing. I'll just finesse the the grays a little bit over in here and up front. You can use whatever brush you want for that. It doesn't have to be the brush that I'm using. It can be mine's probably too small, but just finessing the the foreground and pretty much. A little bit over in here again. Might add a little deeper tones. Just keep playing around with. It's a little dark. I'll remove it. But you get the idea. I'm going to play around with some deeper tones in that section. And over in here again. I'm noticing it's kind of goofy, so I'm just going to tone that down. I don't want it goofy. I want it kind of serious and sweet and romantic. I can take my paper towel and lift up some of this color in here. And that's kind of how the look I want. This romantic y, kind of sweet color. And this is pretty white back here. Um, it seems a little too dark. You can lift up the paint with the paper towel. Just like this. All right, so you can slip that up, paper towel. I also noticed when I step back a little bit, um, this area gets a little goofy too, so I can go and fix that. And that's what you do, you just kind of, I would stand back from your painting, step back from your painting, see what area looks good, what doesn't look good. Um, what the color there? I'm constantly doing that, you know. Gonna maneuver this a little bit more. The shape looked kind of funky, and then I have this line here. Just kind of diffuse the line a little bit by adding some darker tones, just like that. So you're not looking so much at the line. And go and add in some deeper grays. Just like that. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, I'm gonna lift this up, paint, and see how I like it. Take off the tape. What do we got? Hmm. I'm thinking that these, uh, some of these snow things, are a little goofy. So I might go back in again. 
It's a constant battle. Making sure it's not too goofy. You know? I might go in and add some gray tones. Just in here. Doesn't look like a goofy goof. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Goofy goof. Um, yeah, I'm going to go in and add some deeper blues and some grays. Just like that. Can add some more grasses. Oops. Really, really um, expression, expressionist, expressionistic, expressional. See, I just whooped it around like that. You can grab some from the water. Also, like I said, play around some of the grasses here. You want to have fun with it, you know. Play around with the background color. Um, do all kinds of fun things that you want to do. I mean, like I'm just giving you ideas of like what you could do. And again, put some dark streaks going that way. And I would put a few, just a few of the gouache, not too much. Just going like that. You don't want a lot, because then you're overdoing it and it looks kind of goofy, you know, and then it looks kind of silly instead of some really nice. I'm going to go back in a few more tones of these leaves. I love the blush. Just romantic. Just going to go back in and add a few more of these light colored leaves. Kind of impressionistic in a way, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to take off my rest of my tape to reveal the picture. Like I said, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Um, on Thursdays, I have exclusive tutorials on Patreon and come traceable. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just do like I did here. We just show you how we just flush in color. And there's really no traceable for something like this because I'm just kind of playing around. I'll be constantly tweaking it. Like right here, I'll say, I just took up that tape and I realized this looks a little goofy, right? So I'll go in and I'll fix that. And I'll constantly manipulate how I want the snow to look. Do I feel like that's silly? You know, you play around with it. And that's what you do until you get just the way you want it. But I just, I really like the the plushy kind of background, romantic background. And you can try and incorporate, like I said, get that blush wherever you put back there, kind of in some of your snow up front. So it's reflecting. Put a little up here on your snow a little bit. And here, get that really pretty blushy tone. Maybe a little bit in the snow here. So you get that highlight. And there you go. So thanks guys for being such awesome YouTube subscribers and thank you for watching my channel. And it's been a great year. Looking forward to another great year. Take care and I will speak to you soon.